And there we go. Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all having brilliant, fantastic, amazing days as always. Welcome back to another video. Today inside this video, I'm gonna be breaking down for you all how to use expert advisors, otherwise known as EAs. Now for a lot of people, expert advisors, EAs, you know, automatic trading, algo trading is all very complex, all very overwhelming. Um, they, they struggle to get their heads around it and it's actually not, it's very simple indeed. And I'm gonna be breaking down for you today, sharing my screen here, um, you know, how to go from downloading an MT5 terminal on your desktop through to downloading an expert advisor, you know, opening that data folder so you can, you know, basically attach the expert advisor inside the terminal, how you can then attach it to the charts, input the settings and, you know, let it run. So ultimately, I'm going to be taking you through sharing my screen um, and hopefully, you know, this video will make complete sense. It'll be very, very clear and very easy to understand. Um, in the next video, I'm going to be you know, recording how to optimize these, you know, the settings and the input files um, for these EAs. So that will be the next video. But today, you know, it's going to be a very basic video um, on EAs on how to drag and drop them basically into your terminals, get them running and get them started. Um, so, yeah, without further ado, let's dive into it. So the first step, essentially, um, that you want to be doing is, of course, jumping onto your laptop. OK, expert advisors can't run via a phone, so you need to be on your laptop. OK, so that will be the first thing to load up your laptop. The next thing to do will be to download an MT5 terminal um, on side your desktop. OK, so MT4, the uh, is is another of course platform that is commonly used by a lot of people um but you know the expert advisors have been coded directly for mt5 so that is the terminal dashboard that we basically use which is mt5 um and that's the platform that we use um if you do have you know accounts with prop firms accounts with um you know your personal funds inside mt4 it should be a relatively straightforward process to you know, transfer across to mt5 so it's not too much of a of a difficulty but, you know, there's also a few ways around it as well, like copy trading. So, for instance, you can have an account running on MT5 and then you can copy trade the trades across using tools like Social Trader Tools um, to essentially copy trade onto the MT4, you know, dashboard MT4 platform as well. Um, so it's it's relatively straightforward to get around that problem. Um, but, you know, these EAs are coded for, you know, MT5. So if you have an MT4 dashboard um, platform on your desktop, don't go and load that up and try and get these files to work on there because they're not going to. Um, so. You know, the first step is, of course, to download MT5. So let me take you through that now. So I'm just going to get up um, IC Markets. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. And um, let's let's take it away. So here we go. So here we are on IC Markets. You should be able to see this in a second now um, once it loads up. So essentially, I'm on the IC Markets homepage. You could be on any broker brokerage homepage they all you know have the, their platforms available with them so you could download it via euro trader you know pepperstone barnes or jeffx you know numerous different other ones as well um but essentially you know the platform section underneath here underneath ic markets you have two different options you have metatrader 4 and metatrader 5 um you know you also have a few different other ones you've got a few web traders c trader as well um but ultimately we're using mt5 so we click on that and it's a very very straight straightforward process literally to download a metatrader 5 so all we need to do is then click on that as well I okay. quickly had to go off sharing my screen um, just to click accept to the download. And then essentially it should pop up like this. Okay, so you've got IC markets. We've got all their terms and conditions. Okay, you can have a quick read of, click next, and then it will install the trading platform. Okay, by the MQL5 services. So give it a few seconds to download and you know we'll have it any second now. And then essentially once it downloads, we'll want to put it onto our desktop we'll want to open it on our desktop and then we'll you know take it through the next steps of downloading the expert advisors so yeah relatively straightforward so far so we click finish congratulations we're waiting for you boom it's taking a little bit longer because of course we're recording um the screen and sharing sharing the video but otherwise that's all good you don't need to sign up for an MQL5 account, so you get an automatic pop-up. Don't worry about that. Okay, but what you need to, do need to do is if I stop sharing my screen and start sharing it again on my desktop, then I'll be able to share with you, hopefully. There we go. You should be able to see this now. So fingers crossed you can see the desktop. So here on the desktop, you'll be able to basically see that, you know, MetaTrader 5 from IC Markets is downloaded. And then all you need to do is double-click on that and it should load up um, you know, the charts. So again, if we give that a quick second, take a sip of water. Should load up. <clears throat> Taking a little bit longer this morning, first thing in the morning. That's okay. 
we've got time. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to just make sure that, again, I'm sharing the screen. So I'm going to stop sharing the screen. Um, start sharing again. Okay. By the message trade five, just so you can see exactly what it is I'm doing. So when it pops up here, you'll basically need to connect into your account like you do on any other platform. Okay, so then what we want to do is we want to set up an IC Markets demo account. So we type in IC Market or IC Markets. I should have done. Um, the demo accounts come under Raw Trading LTD. Okay, and then essentially, so I don't want to have done that too quickly for you, but is in you click on that, double click on it, click next. Okay, and then what you want to do is connect with an existing trading account. Okay, and I'm going to stop sharing my screen again and go back onto you know my um, Google Chrome. Again, I'm going to show you the account section where essentially. So let's do this now. Share the the client access area. So essentially, inside my IC Markets you know, account section, okay, as we can see up here, I have all of these accounts that I'm running basically expert advisors on. So the trick with expert advisors, as I mentioned in, you know, one of the older videos, which was, um, you know, discussing how to set up the accounts on demo accounts. Essentially, what I said here is that we want to be setting up numerous different, um, you know, demo accounts with IC markets with a few different other brokerages, um, so that we can basically put on the expert advisors on the accounts and see live within the market how the expert advisors are performing. Okay, and what settings we like to see and what drawdown we're encountering okay, and what profits we're encountering. Because the longer that we run the expert advisors on demo accounts, okay, the more that we're going to understand them, the more that we're going to understand how to optimize them and make them better, you know, naturally, um, you know, just, just through how we can see, you know, the opening and closing of positions. Okay, and at the same time, we're also going to be able to, you know, basically build confidence, um, you know, for ourselves that these settings are working. Um you know, when we have them on our own accounts. So essentially I've set up an extra one down here, okay, that we're gonna log into. Okay, so what we need to do is then take, you know, the login credentials. So that's the, the login, this is the password. Essentially what I'm gonna do is copy and paste both of those, you know, into the account and it should load up then the charts. So I'm gonna stop sharing the screen um, and I'm just gonna do that quickly now. So essentially I'm just putting in my login detail and I'm just putting in my password now. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, I see markets done. You shouldn't have any problems with that, um, but if you do, then of course you can reach out to customer support um, on IC Markets and they'll help you out. But it's a relatively straightforward process. So now that I've done that, I can drop down that screen and I can reshare with you um, the IC Markets desktop section. So here we go, boom. So this is what you know the, the first initial opening of the IC Markets platform looks like for me. Okay, now it's not very um, visually Healing. It looks very overwhelming, but again, um, you know, for those that have been trading a long time, it's not. Um, you know, all of these numbers here seem very overwhelming. It seems like we're on Wall Street, um, you know, with a massive uh, sign above our heads talking about how, you know, NASDAQ and the indices are moving um, and all of the commodities as well. But it's relatively straightforward. So let me just clean it up a little bit for you all. So it looks a little bit, um, you know, more plain and simple. So essentially, balance you know this is just our demo account so we've got hundred thousand two hundred dollars there okay and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to load up a chart you know, load up gold so xausd just as an example okay so this is the chart let me zoom out a little bit on this push back and let me just adapt some of the properties so it looks a little bit nicer colors um go okay, let's just do that perfect just looks a little bit cleaner, a little bit nicer now. Um, so essentially, the next step once we're on our IC Markets, you know, desktop dashboard platform with MT5, just as a reminder, the next step is then, of course, get the expert advisors in. Okay. So, what I would recommend, um, expert and advisors or not, is just to be trading on the desktop. It's far better for your psychology. It's far better for dragging and dropping stop losses, take profits. You know, hitting good risk management. Um, you know, then trading on the phone. Um, so the, des the, the desktop is definitely the way to go. So essentially on our navigator section here, you'll be able to see expert advisors. Okay, and if you can't see your navigator, okay, and let's say you've deleted it by accident or something, we need to do is click view and then navigator. Okay, and it'll pop up again. Okay, so I've done that a few times. It took me, you know, a good second to learn how to do that um, <laughs> when I was starting out I'd, and I'd lost it. So that's how you do it. So if you lose anything, click view and they're all here. Okay, market watch. There you go, it's back, okay? So expert advisors, here we go. Now, as you'll see, 
um, when we went on to the desktop section over on the right hand side i had the expert advisors downloaded so to download the expert advisors okay they should all be underneath this video okay so all of the files all of the, the sheets that are relevant to the expert advisors will be underneath this video um, and essentially what you want to do is download them onto your desktop okay that's a relatively straightforward task just you know right click download um, or copy and paste them onto the desktop okay um, once you've got them on the desktop then what essentially you want to be doing is getting them in this section here okay and as you'll see we don't have you know the expert advisors for fx london underneath here as of yet so what we need to do okay is we need to go up to the top left hand corner up here click file click open open data folder okay so again file open data folder okay and that will open the data folder for the ic markets um you know, for the for this for this desktop for this dashboard. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sh stop sharing the screen again, and start sharing again just to make sure that we're on the right section for you all. Okay, so you can see this. Okay, so this is what it opens up with. Okay, this is the terminal. Okay, and these are all the folders. Now again, this seems very overwhelming, but it's not. It's very very straightforward. So what we want to do is we want to go onto our desktop. Okay, where we've downloaded the expert advisors. Okay, where we're basically storing the expert advisors. So for me, desktop. And we can see, you know, four of the expert advisors that I'm basically that I basically have at the moment for FX London. Okay, these again will change. I'm sure they'll change names as well in the future. But this video is simply just to show, um, you know, how to drag and drop them basically. So if we've got all four, let's say FX London's got four expert advisors as of the moment. Okay, that you want to be you know downloading onto your MT5 desktop platform. What you need to do is you need to you know select them all. Okay, you need to right click. Okay, give us a second. Come on, laptop, keep loading. <laughs> Struggling with um, recording as well. But then we'll click copy. Okay, so right click, copy, drag, right click, copy. Okay, then we're going to scroll. Actually, we're not going to scroll. We're just going to click back because it's the, the, the safer thing to do. We're going to click back. And that will take us back to what opened up with this terminal dashboard. Then what we've got is we've got a load of options and they seem very, very confusing. What we need to do is click on MQL5. Okay, that's the one and the folder you want to be clicking on. Once you clicked on that, okay, I'm going to need to stop sharing my screen and start sharing again because it's just opened up a new one. That's okay. Is let me do this. Just make sure we're on the right one. I'm just going to need to click MQL5. Boom. Here we go. Okay, it opens up this. So once we clicked on MQL5, it opens up into this. And then as you'll see at the top, we want to click on experts. Okay, you want to look for experts because that's where we're gonna put our expert advisors. Okay, so then what you need to do is click on advisors. I'm gonna to need to stop sharing my screen again. That's okay. It pops up into this, okay? And we've got advisors. We then need to click on advisors. And as we've just seen, I've just popped up another screen. So I'm gonna stop sharing and sharing again. We're now in the folder, folder of advisors. All we need to do is right click and paste okay and it will download them there that's all we need to do okay very very straightforward indeed okay so you go on to so just to take it back a step so you can go through the steps again essentially what you need to do is you need to go on to file in the top left hand corner you need to click open data folder okay that will then pop up okay you then need to go back onto where you've downloaded the the files so you need to highlight them all right click copy all we're doing is copying and pasting them Okay, we're not deleting them, but we're just copying them and pasting them. So copy them all. Then what you need to do is go back and click on the little back arrow to take you back to where you know the terminal dashboard is. You then click on MQL5, click on that. You then click on experts, click on that. You then click on the folder of advisors, click on that. And then you'll be taken to this section and you just paste. Okay. Again, that should be relatively straightforward. If you've got any questions, reach out and ask for help. But go back and you know watch this video time and time again because it should make sense so after we've done all of that we've now got them in the file and the folder for the desktop okay so i'm now going to delete all of these i'm going to stop sharing again i'm going to delete all of these files and we're going to make our way back onto the ic markets terminal so let's do this boom so we're back okay now you will have noticed there's no difference here okay nothing's changed as the moment that's because we need to refresh it. So all we then need to do, okay, is click on Expert Advisors, right click and click Refresh, okay? 
and then it will load. You might have to, you know, go back, back down and, um, you know, minimize the tab and open it up again, minimize the folder and open it up again. But there we have it. Okay. The four current expert advisors that FX London basically has, the gold digger, the money SMA, super scalp and the swing king. Okay. And then what you need to be able to do is, you know, drag and drop onto the chart. So the hard part is done. The hard part of you know, downloading them, getting them into the terminal, downloading the terminal is done. Now, this is more of the fun part, more of the fun part, which is, you know, putting them onto the charts, watching them work on a demo account and actually seeing automatic trading playing out. So the next step, of course, is to have your specific expert advisor dragged and dropped onto the chart. So here I am on gold. So, the, you know, the, the expert advisor that we basically currently have running for gold that's working best is the gold digger. OK, now, again, at the time of recording this video, this is the time of the recording this video. Things might change in the future. And if they are, don't be, you know, alerted or um, alarmed that anything's changed just because, you know, things have progressed in the future. So the gold digger, what you then need to do is literally drag and drop. Okay. All you need to do is do that. Drag it and drop it. And boom, there you have it. Okay. We'll all load up. So we've got the, the gold digger EA 1.0. You basically then need to click, um, you know, a few of the different allowing settings. Okay, and then adapt the input. So I'm just going to stop sharing my screen and start sharing again, just to make sure that we're, you know, on the right on the right thing. Perfect. Boom. So you then want to be clicking allow modif modification of signal settings, allow algo trading, and then here are your inputs. Okay, and depending of course on the file that you're running, okay, you will then tweak the numbers on all of these. Okay, just by double clicking, you know, adapting it, changing it, and clicking OK basically. Yeah. So you can basically just tweak them and adapt them how you like, okay? And, you know, it's as simple as that. Um, essentially, that's how it works. And then once you've done that, you click OK, okay? And then in the top right-hand corner up here, you can see the gold digger EA, okay? So you can see that's on the charts, but it's not going to be running yet, okay? What you need to then do is head over to here, click Algo Trading, okay? And allow Algo Trading, okay? And click, boom, okay? And once that's done, once you click that, Okay, we should start seeing some trades, you know, come through, um, you know, once the specific metrics are met. If you want to then, you know, tweak and adapt the input settings, you don't need to delete and reapply a chart. We need to do is click right click and click expert list. And then you'll be taken to the EA that's running. You click properties for that. And then again, you can tweak and adapt, you know, the expert advisor and how it's running. So that is how in a step-by-step -step process you download um, you know, an MT5 terminal dashboard, you have, you know, your login details put in, you then, you know, drag and drop and input and basically not input, but add the expert advisors to your terminal dashboard. Okay. And then how you drag and drop them onto the charts, um, you know, in a pretty much a step-by-step -step manner. Um, I tried to keep it slow. I've tried to keep it calm so that it's not overwhelming and it's incredibly easy to follow and navigate. Um, but essentially, it's really, really simple. And once you've done it once, you'll be able to do it twice, three times, four times, even faster over and over again. Okay. And, um, you know, you should be able to, to master adding EAs um, very, very quickly. So as always, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope this has been informative. I hope this has helped you out. This is clearly more for beginners um, that have never used expert advisors before. You know, if you have used expert advisors, I hope this has just helped, you know, establish, um, you know, a few different things for you, like the fact that the EAs are for MT5. Um, but otherwise, um, you know, expert advisors are really, really powerful. It's one of the, you know, the main leading things that's helping FX London, um, you know, community members get funded. Um, and as I've always mentioned, that hybrid approach of you know, using an expert advisor to make that two, three, four, five percent alongside your manual trades to top it up helps you get, you know, across the challenge line, the verification line and, you know, make profits live, you know, so much faster, so much better, so much easier and so much you know with, with so much less hassle and it's a lot more stress-free um so yeah otherwise i'll be moving on to recording the next video soon um which will be about you know optimizing the expert advisors how do you you know tweak test um you know all of the different settings okay and um i'll, I'll see you there bye for now